Hi, this is Information Service Engineering Lecture Number 1, Natural Language Processing. This is a brief excursion for the Evaluation, Precision and Recall chapter just before starting with regular expressions. So, what I want to show you is how to deal with text corpora on the basis of small Linux or Unix shell commands. So in case you are using a Linux computer or if you are using a Mac for example, you are able on a shell, which means a console window of the operating system, to deal exactly with these uh, text corpora. So I have put together all the sentences that you had from the last chapter according to Beethoven, so 11 sentences, into one file and you can download the file. You see here the link for the download. And I will show you a few of these shell commands with our, which are really handy and uh, useful for the evaluation and also then for determining regular expressions, for example, and for evaluating regular expressions. First thing I want to show you is, okay, we have the Beethoven corpus, which is a file, and if you want to know what's in the file in the Linux shell, you have the following options. There is the WC, the word count command, so I will show you. I switch to the terminal and here I will show you we have the Beethoven corpus somewhere. Yeah, it's there. And what you can do, of course, you can have a look into that file. There you say catalog and then the Beethoven corpus and there you see what's in there. As you see, lots of sentences and if you want to know how many sentences are in there, you say word count and you want to count not only the words but only the lines, so therefore dash L. And then you say the name of the file and it says Beethoven corpus contains 11 lines. Okay, so for the basis, for example, when you want to determine precision and recall, of course, you have to know about these line numbers. Now, let's get back to the other commands. If you remember the two experiments that we did, first we tried to find a pattern which was Ludwig van Beethoven in these corpuses. So you have to write or you have to use a command which is called grep. So you grep a string out of a file and if the string contains several words, you put them together or you indicate that they belong together with these quotation marks you see here. So let's try this in the terminal window. Okay, I have the terminal window, now I say grep. So what I want to grep is Ludwig van Beethoven and I want to grab these lines from the Beethoven corpus. If I do it just that way, you see the result is one, two, three lines. Quite nice, but you can count it automatically and this is also something nice which the Linux or Unix operating system enables you to do. When you go back to the uh, command that you had, grab Ludwig van Beethoven from the Beethoven corpus, you can connect this directly, so the output of this command to a new command by adding a so-called pipe. So this is this little sign here, that's a pipe. And then behind the pipe you simply say now let's count the lines again, so word count dash L and that's it. So we hit the return key and you see the result is 3. So you have 3 as a result filtered out here and these are already the first numbers that you need to calculate precision and recall. Of course you have to check whether these are correct or not correct examples. Okay, and to use the other second experiment that we did, so there we restricted the filtering simply of the word Beethoven. Let's do this exactly the same way we did it here. So again we say grep Beethoven and then from the Beethoven corpus. So it's only one word, therefore I don't need quotation marks. I do this. You see these are much more and if you are, so if you don't want to count them all, we simply connect it via a pipe and say word count dash L. And the result is 10. That's it. You see, it's quite easy to work in the desktop with a shell on exactly these kind of files. Of course, if you have only a small file like the Beethoven corpus with overall 11 files, you could do this by hand or manually. But 
On the other hand, if we are dealing with real text corpora, then we have thousands of lines, we have even millions of lines. And if it comes to millions of lines, then these shell commands are much faster than any Java program that you could write or any Python program because they are optimized for computers that require or that had by the time these programs were invented they had only small memory capacity and small processor capacity so therefore they are rather efficient and therefore they are a good choice to deal with large text corpora and large text files. Okay, so that's it. Uh, for our first excursion, we will now continue with regular expressions.